Cool. Well, thanks for coming in today, Gordon, um, to talk about your work King Hit for Clean and Country. Um, so that work was made about 10 years ago, the end of 1999, uh, in very particular political conditions. Could you tell us a little bit about the work and the climate of the time? Yeah, um, the work, when it was created, was, uh, I like to call it John Howard's regime. But then uh, also within part of that regime was uh, a uh, Pauline Hanson regime or the rise of uh, One Nation Party. So it was kind of done, you know, within that climate whereby uh, uh, the One Nation was gaining in popularity and uh, Pauline Hanson, the, the leader of One Nation, uh, she was coming out with quite a lot of overt, um, outrageous comments in regards to, you know, the state of the nation, um, in regards to Aboriginal people, in regards to migrants, in regards to families, single mothers, and um, you know it's just one after another, and people were expecting um, John Howard to make comment about what she had said or or put a stop to uh, what was going on, but he didn't, yeah. and Pauline just went on and on and on. I mean, Pauline Hanson and One Nation Party has even said that uh, John Howard ended up adopting mm. a lot of their policies anyway. So yeah, so the work was done uh, under that climate. You know, I'm trained as a sculptor, so, uh, um, so I often work with objects and uh, I often construct or, or, or assemble, assemble or do a pastiche of things. And, uh, but also, you know, um, I do oil paintings as well. I mean, because you know, I've used a punching bag and boxing gloves. The way of looking at it, you know, is a, a functional, uh, is, uh, you know, of, of sport, is of putting, um, you know, the gloves on and punching the, the bag. So, so naturally, you know, um, I'm using the idea of exerting your frustration or your anger, you know, in such a way on, on the object. The fight that's been taken up is, you know, with the Aboriginal flag, which is painted, you know, on the gloves, so that that standard for, stand for our Aboriginality, fighting against these things um, that we see as uh, subjugating or oppressing us as a people. So you know, uh, I, I guess you know it could be said that it's uh, very um, cathartic. It's quite interesting to me that um, when work can evoke you know, emotions, or the discussion of the work uh, can, uh, 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 you know, make people feel confronted uh, when you look at the, um, um, you know, the army going into communities and the Northern Territory and all the vital statistics uh, um, of health, education, uh, imprisonment rates. I'll say very little have, have changed, you know. The only thing that, that's changed, I suppose, is um, my attitude, you know. Um, and I'm not as uh, uh, fiery or as angry in regards to things that are happening. Mm. I guess I've, I've uh, as an artist, I've, um, I've rationalised things a little bit more. And by dealing, them, dealing with them in my art, um, I don't feel as, as fired up anymore.